What's up YouTube? Um, whoops, it's Amy again, back with another video. But today I'm doing another unboxing of a snack crate. For all those people who don't know what snack crate is, is you basically, um, Pay a monthly subscription and they send you snacks from different countries around the world. I think my last one was Mexico. Um, I don't know which one this one is yet, so this is what the box looks like. Boom. Um, I believe it's $14.99 for a box, $24.99, and then $44.99 for a box. I could be wrong, I think I got the prices wrong the last time I made the video, but yeah. This is my brother, he'll be in the video. Um, trying these uh, amazing snacks with me. So yeah. Wait, why is this so difficult to open now? Oh, oh crap. Well. So this is what the inside of the box looks like. It looks like I accidentally tore all this crap. Ooh. All right, hold on. The sticker ripped, but this is what it looks like. So show us your snacks and it gives all the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And it looks like this one is from Australia. Um, I only get the, not the mini, but the original. So I'll have everything in the mini, everything in the original, and nothing in the premium. But when, on my last box, I got a lot of stuff from the premium because they accidentally put it inside of the box. So, Let's start. So this is what the packaging is like. And I think the reason the packaging is all messed up in this one is because it's been sitting on my counter and been thrown around a couple times. So this is what it looks like. It's all good. I mean, you don't know that. I, in the Mexican one, I was like <laughs> Really? Yeah, on one of the candies, the guy can't stand it. No, I like the lollipop one. Okay. So this looks like it's called Shapes. Oh, so this stuff is actually in English. I thought it was. In... What do they speak in English? They right? speak English, but it's like choppy English. Okay. So last time we read the fun facts of Australia, I'll do that this time. Fun facts are there are more kangaroos than people in Australia. What? That's why they got a box each other. Yeah, right? Humans have been living in Australia for over 45,000 years. Australia is the only country that is also a continent. In Victoria, only a licensed electrician can change a light bulb. Hmm. Uh, that's, so you, that's just like illegal stuff all around. I would still change the light bulb. There's one farm in Australia that is uh, not eh, in Australia that is larger than the entire country of Israel. Voting is mandatory. If you don't show up to vote, you will face a fine. The name Australia comes from the Latin word Australis, meaning southern. Hmm, that's neat. So it always it also comes it, it always comes with some fun facts about the country, and then it gives just a little tidbit about the country that you're eating. I mean the foods from the country that you're eating. So, let's see. The first one, go ahead and open this one. It's called Shapes. Shapes, first produced in Victoria in the 1950s. You'd be hard pressed to find a kid in Australia that didn't have these in their lunchbox. It doesn't really say what it is. Usually they say what it is in there. Original pizza. It look like this. Hold on, hold this. They look like that. Focus. Focus on the stupid thing. Nope. 
You know what they kind of remind me of? What? Like combos. What is that? Mm. That weird aftertaste of combos. Well, let me try another one. They remind me of something, but... Yeah, kinda. What they ha like, the texture of it tastes like a, uh... A little bit harder than like a club cracker. And it tastes like somebody took pizza combos and like grinded them all mm -hmm. up and just sprinkled it on top of the, the cookie. All right, next, let's try Picnic. Is that on here? Yeah. Sold around the world, but is extra special in Australia. In Australia. This version contains no raisins like its global cousins. It looks like a Snickers bar, to be honest. Snickers slash Kit Kat. What the heck? Look at the inside of that. So Australians don't like raisins? <laughs> it's like a Snickers with a wafer inside of it. Yeah. That's a wafer, right? Mm-hmm. It's kind of stale. Is it supposed to be like that? Best before, okay. Not fire, so I guess it's supposed to be that way. Hmm. That's sort of like a dryer. Like the wafer it is. Mm. Aliens killer, oh. It looks like aliens though. Alan's Killer Python. It looks like a giant, just a giant gummy worm. I wonder if it's just all one gummy worm or, oh no. Here. Those are huge. Yeah. I thought it was like wrapped around. It looks like giant gummy worms. These are huge. This is like Let me read it. The size of my head. Allen's Killer Python. It's hard to find more Australian company than Allen's. Founded in 1870 in Melbourne, several Allen's products found their way into this snack, this month's snack rate. Wow. Very chewy. They taste like regular gummy worms. And like on here, and there's like orange, red, maroon, green, and another red piece. They're more, way more like tougher than regular gummy worms, so. One piece equals one portion. So I guess a serving size is one of these. Yeah, one serving is one, but they're huge, really. <clears throat> and they're really heavy. I can see why one serving would be like, or one of these would be like one serving. You're like eating five, six gummy worms. Hmm. I guess that's kind of cool. Hmm. They're really, really chewy. Like, super chewy. You got a yank it. Like, just bite out of it. They taste like lifesavers. Don't they? Like those gummy lifesavers? Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. And it's one of them. Oh, yeah. Well, I already ate all of this, so. I don't think I'm gonna like this. Allen's, what is that, gum? Mm. Allen's fan fantail? What the heck is a fantail? Hmm. So chewy. Okay. Next one is this. Bros, we're eating sweet and salty and... We used to eat this when we were younger. It used to come in that like round tin. Oh, okay. Doesn't it look like it? Yeah. Should I open it? It's french fries, yeah. A salty, delicious, crunchy potato straw snack. They have something like this in the U.S. I guess it's just their version. 
It looks exactly like it. Mm -hmm. I think they're called um sticks here. Something like that. Potato sticks or something like that. They literally just taste like ruffles. Shredded ruffles. Now these you can just eat. See all the snacks in here I like. Because they are like very close to like American snacks that I've eaten in, in the past. Watch when you just get like Japan or something. Uh, yeah, or if you like get like Korea or something. That's gonna be like so out of. Hmm. Where's the serving size? Wait. It says zero to three years old. Caution. Oh, because of the choking hazard. I thought they were just saying if you're zero to three. You're not allowed to have these at all. That's good. I actually really like these. That's weird. They like tell you how much energy you're gonna get from the from the package. Is it on all that stuff? No. <laughs> Is it on everything that we ate? 990 kilojoules. Okay. Mm. Oh look, we got more shapes, but this is original barbecue flavor. I'm not gonna open that one. Um, okay. Tim Tam fingers. Look, it even says how much. Does that say it on American stuff too? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Look, on the. We're just worried about calories. On the package, it tells you how much energy is in there. Frick, hold on. Let me get this to focus. Right here. I can't get it. It's like focusing on me. Focusing on everything but this stupid thing. All right, here. Tim Tam fingers. Here. Oh, it's super chocolatey. Here. Energy. I don't like it. Our most requested snack. These are delicious chocolate biscuits want to eat them like natural, or like a true Australian. <laughs> oh, it's saying, do you want to eat them like a true Australian? YouTube Tim Tam Slam. We're going to have to look up Tim Tam Slam. Oh, oh crap. Oh, I dropped it. I'll get it later. I didn't like it very much anyways. What's next? There's like a ton more stuff. That See, one? some of this stuff is on the premium side. Hey, don't complain. Yeah, I'm not going to. All right, next is cherry ripe. There's no, oh, right here, energy. Yeah, DI always. 12%. Like, I don't, it's a cherry. It's chocolate covered. It looks like chocolate covered. Oh, I'm probably not gonna like that either. Mm -mm. Is it even worth taking a bite of? It tastes like there's coconut in there. A uniquely Australian candy bar filled mm -hmm. with juicy cherries and coconut topped with Cadbury's Old Dark Chocolate. Oh, old, old Gold Dark Chocolate. I'm not really one for coconut in my candies. I only li I like Almond Joys. It tastes like an Almond Joy with cherry filling. Like, you know those nasty candies you get in the Valentine's Day boxes with like chat Done. Like yeah, strawberry cool. cherry filling. I don't like those. That's what that tastes like. <clears throat> so we got dairy milk. Dairy milk. Oh, it's caramel it's, koala. It's a caramello koala. Caramello koala. Chokito or chocolate. Caramello koala. Dang. Focus. Try like. There you go. Caramello koala. Milk chocolate with smooth flowing caramel. All this stuff is like smooth sweet. Smooth flowing caramel. Where? It's so sweet. It's like it's oh, caramel. you know what? This is probably this, this is like the bunny stuff. Like yeah, like the chocolate. chocolate bunnies you get during Easter. That's what it tastes like. Oh, they also smooth flowing caramel. All right, I need to fight, uh, figure out why it won't focus. 
Alright. Then next is what? Wagon wheels. I think I might like that. The wagon wheel is a crunchy marshmallow. Oh, never mind. Yep. Crunchy marshmallow treat with jam that's coated in milk chocolate. Oh. All this is so sweet. Mm. That's a uh, Carmelo koala. It's really sweet. Yeah, oh shoot. It's kind of messy. Oh, these look like those moon pies. Oh, true. How's the jam taste? No? Mm-mm. Don't like that. Don't like the jam. It's kind of like not the texture you would think it would be. What is that? It tastes like like gingerbread. No, I don't like. Oh, I can taste it. Yeah. You taste it? The aftertaste. It makes me think of Christmas. It's like yeah, gingerbread. All right. What's the next thing in there? <clears throat> Choquito. Let's eat the Choquito. A chocolate bar containing caramel fudge and crisp rice that is covered in compound chocolate. So Australia is just a chocolate continent or country. Continent or and country. Both. Oh yeah, this is diabetes. I think I just got diabetes. Let me see. What's that in the middle? I like this one. I'd buy this. Everything's just too sweet for me. Sparingly. Like wheat. Hmm? I'm trying to... Tastes like a Whopper. Like a creamy Whopper. And the last thing... Look at their Kit Kat. Kit Kat Chunky. Why didn't we get that? I know. <laughs> That's the one that I would have like looked forward to. They want to send us like... Maybe... You know what they're doing? See, look, they only sent you one of like the premium. The premium. So they sent us this, which one? This one out of the premium. I don't have the premium Maybe. box, but this one out of the <coughs> premium. But look at what kind of Kit Kats they have in Australia. Doesn't that look good? You know what they probably do? They're probably doing that so that like they lure you into the premium loop. Maybe. They're just like, this is a taste of what you could have. Yeah. And this one, I don't think I'm going to like. It's Can we treat it? Let's go back. It's in the, where is it? Over here, Alan's Fantails. Chewy caramel with a chocolate coating. Check the wrappers for movie trivia. Okay. <laughs> Some Australian movies. Maybe you, in, in, um, US movies too. Okay, let me read one. Who am I? Born in Hawaii in 1967 and raised in Sydney. This elegant redhead has starred in a variety of movies including, uh, Moulin Rouge, Rouge, Moulin Rouge, Rouge, The Hours, Cold Mountain, Australia, and Lee Daniels, The Paperboy, 2012. Oh, yeah. In 2005, she appeared in on in a Channel number five commercial, which made her Guinness World Record holder for being the highest paid actress featured on an advertised campaign. In 2013, she starred in The Railway Way Man, followed by a Thriller. What is that? Strangerland. In 2014, she has $2 with her husband, country music singer Keith Urban. Oh, I know who it is. As well as two adopted children with former husband, active Tom Cruise. Who is it? Uh, Nicole Kidman. Yeah. Who's that? That's... Yeah. Mm, Alright. I'm not gonna know this one. Born in Sydney in 1983, she was raised in Australian rural town of Gunnada, Gunnada, but moved to Brisbane for her schooling. Her modeling career took off, could, eh, took off after winning a Dolly magazine competition at age 13 in 1997. She has since appeared in many Australian fashion campaigns. In 2006, she relocated to the United States where she signed a lucrative cosmetic contract with Maybelline. She was the first Australian Victoria's Secret model and currently lives in New York with her Yorkshire Terrier called Frankie. She has she and she and actor Orlando Bloom have a son together named Flynn. I don't know her. 
No. The extra at the bottom. I know, but I don't even know her name. Miranda Kerr? I've heard of her. I haven't. There's another one, but you have to like fold over. I'm not going to. You might These remind me of sugar babies. Yeah, or sugar they're daddies, not, they're or whatever not, they're called. You know what I'm talking. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, they're not really. Or sugar milk duds. duds. They remind yeah, me of milk duds. A British, a British series of spy films based on fictional MI6 agent from the book, the longest-running American sitcom. In 2007, a full-length feature film was released, smashing records globally. The catchphrase "doubt" said by the character Homer is now listed in the Oxford English Dictionary. Homer Simpson. Yeah, but they answer the Simpsons, but. Oh. Mm-hmm. I, I can't finish the milk done. Yeah, it's pretty, it's really rich wanna, and it's really, really like super sweet. I don't want to like drive it into my teeth because I know if I try and pull back out, just. Yeah. So that is it. You can put all this stuff back in there. That was good though. I, mm, it looks like Australia is a really, really like sweet tooth kind of country. Like ev all their snacks are more sweet. Whereas like Mexico had, everything had chili powder or like tamarind or like something like that. Their fries. Except for their fries. Their fries were good. But everything else American in this box was sweet. Like extremely sweet. With chocolate and caramel and oh. I feel like I'm getting a headache from all the sweets that I just eat already. Well, no, I don't want to eat. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. Thank you for my brother coming on and doing this video with me. Um, like I said, if you want to do this, I'll leave the link below so you can see where to order it from. It's snack, no, snackcrate.com, I believe. Um, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. All right, boom.